As White House photographer for both President Obama and President Reagan, Pete Souza has had experiences traveling the world with them. But he met up with us here at Porter Square Bookstore in Cambridge on Thursday after meeting his mother in New Bedford to talk about his life behind the lens, what he hopes his legacy is, and his humble beginnings in South Coast Massachusetts. We may not remember the date, but we remember this photo. The Situation Room, May 1st, 2011, the Osama bin Laden raid. Uh, and it was high anxiety because they had uh, made the decision to put these guys in harm's way. The man with the responsibility to capture that raw emotion and monumental moment in American history, President Obama's official White House photographer, Pete Souza. This photo, just one of the more than a million he took to give us Americans a window into what our commander in chief was doing, both at the White House and abroad. The, the most important part of my job was uh, creating this uh, archive for history. I mean, all my pictures now, or at the National Archives, every single one of them. And to think it all began in South Coast, Massachusetts. Well, we I grew up in uh, Dartmouth, Massachusetts. <laughs> lived there throughout my childhood and went to Dartmouth High and um, and went to Boston University. After working for a few newspapers, he got the opportunities of a lifetime, first for President Ronald Reagan, then President Barack Obama. It's just, I, I just, I got lucky twice. Sousa described Reagan as conservative, traditional, never really laid back, but showing emotion when he was with his wife, First Lady Nancy Reagan. President Obama is still a friend to him. You know, I think President Obama understood the role of the White House photographer, the importance of having a photographic record of his presidency. Not every day was exciting or memorable, but it was important and mentally stressful. He won't take the job again if offered, but hopes his work in total and his contribution to history will be the legacy of Pete Souza. I mean, you're always thinking that the picture you want to be remembered by will be the one that you make tomorrow. Reporting in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.